let's start with sine sine 30 okay so if you press sine 30 in a calculator that will give you 0.5 so sine 30 is 0.5. What does that mean? Sine 30 is 0.5 means this is one half. So let's start with the basic right angle triangle. What is the meaning of that? Okay, so this is a 30 degrees. So sine 30 is half means the opposite of 30 is one and this is hypotenuse. Okay, so let's say what is how much is x? So well, using Pythagoras, I can say x squared is equal to two squared minus one squared. So x squared is equal to three. So x squared is equal to three. So x is equal to root three. So this is root three. So now we can say well, if this is so from this, if this is thirty this angle is going to be 60 degrees so you can say many find many other results so this implies you can say uh, cos 30 by just looking at this is adjacent over hypotenuse which is root 3 over 2 okay now what can we say about tan 30 tan 30 is opposite over it opposite over adjacent which is 1 over root 3 Okay, what can you say about, say, sec 30? Sec is the reciprocal of cos, which is 1 over cos 30. So sec theta, sec 30 is the reciprocal of 3 over, root 3 over 2, which would be 2 over root 3. Now what is cosec 30? Cosec is the reciprocal of sine, which is 1 over sine 30. So 1 over sine 30 is a reciprocal of 1 over 2, which is 2. And cot is a reciprocal of 10. So tan 30 is the reciprocal of 10, which is root 3. Okay, same way you can talk about cos, sorry, 60 degrees. So what can you say about 60 degrees? So what is sine 60? Sine 60 is opposite over hypotenuse which is root 3 over 2 what is cos 60 cos 60 is adjacent over hypotenuse which is 1 over 2 you can say about now tan 60 tan 60 is is for 60 this is opposite this is adjacent so this is root 3 uh, sec 60 is a reciprocal of cos. Cos 60 is 1 over 2, so sec 60 would be 2. Cosec is a reciprocal of sine, which is sine is root 3 over 2, so this would be 2 over root 3. Cot 60 is a reciprocal of tan, which is 1 over root 3. Okay, so that's, you can say by just looking at right angle triangles. Okay, what else can we do? Okay, so if sine 60, so let's go to a unit circle. So let's now think in a di different way. Sine 30 is equal to half. What does that mean in terms of a unit circle? So let me draw a unit circle. Sine is in a unit circle. Suppose this is a unit circle. So radius of 1. So in a unit circle, I hope by now you should know sine uh, sine cos of x, uh, cos of theta, cos of theta is equal to x, and sine of theta is equal to y. So when you say sine 30 is half, what does that mean in unit circle? When a particle has moved, sorry, sine theta is y, not half. So basically, let me repeat this. This means when a particle has moved theta degrees in a unit circle, the x coordinate is going to be x and the y coordinate is going to be y. 
So when you say sine 30 is equal to half, it means when a particle has moved 30 degrees. So let me, so this is 30 degrees, say this is 30 degrees. The y coordinate is half. This is what it means. The y coordinate is half. Okay, so if the y coordinate is half, when else would the y coordinate be half? Well, if this this is 30 degrees in the first quadrant, if you take 30 degrees in the second quadrant, this is 30 degrees in the th second quadrant. At this point, the particle has moved. This is 180 degree. This is 90 degrees. So when this is a particle p at p1, it has moved 30 degrees. At p2, it has moved 180 minus 30, which is 150 degrees. So we can say from this using symmetry and unit circle sine of 150 should also be half. Okay so if so what would happen if you go minus half so let's say this is a minus half. So again using symmetry what can we do so let's draw 30 degrees here. So this is 30 degrees here in the th third quadrant. At this point, the particle has moved how many degrees? So 180 plus 30, which is 210. So again, using symmetry, I can say sine of 210 is going to be negative half or negative 0 0.5. So where else would it be negative 0 0.5? Well, at this point, again, in the fourth quadrant so if I join it with this point so let me extend this this way if it's say 30 degrees in the fourth quadrant at this point the particle has moved 360 minus 30 which is 330 degrees so this should be sine 330 should also be negative 0 0.5 same way, what would happen? What would happen? So I want you to do this yourself. Say cos cos of say 30 is root 3 over 2. So use the same principle. So cos 30 is root 3 over 2 means when the particle has moved 30 degrees in a unit circle, the x coordinate is going to be root 3 over 2. So based on that, what can you say? So think about this and you can also think cos of what would be minus root 3 over 2.